Good morning and God bless you. We're delighted to have you with us here this morning. Maybe it's your first time tuning in and joining us. We extend a warm welcome to you and trust that you're blessed with what you hear today. I want to begin with prayer. I want to continue to pray for the direction and the condition of this nation. I want to remember our local community and regions. We also want to remember uh, Cornerstone Pentecostal Church. And lastly, our brothers and sisters around the world. Maybe you have a special unspoken request. It's a perfect time to make that known unto God. Let's pray together. Father, we love you. We praise you. We worship you. We thank you for the abundance of all things. Father, we just want to give you great praise and divine recognition. We also pray, God, for the effect and the influence of your word, your spirit, and your church upon this nation. God, we pray for a genuine, true Holy Ghost revival. <clears throat> Father, we also pray for our local community and region. We pray that you'll continue to open up doors of utterance. We pray for Cornerstone Pentecostal Church, members in particular. And lastly, we pray for our brothers and sisters around the world. We pray that you furnish them with a hedge of protection. We ask all these things in the name above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody said amen. Well, you know, I was just pondering, I was pondering about this devotional this morning. And I was thinking about five things. There's, there's probably a much longer list that we could get into, but I want to talk about five things that I cannot live without. Okay. So you that are watching this here this morning, um, I want you to feel very free as you watch this to put your own list together. But I want to talk about five things that I cannot live without. Okay. What are five things that you cannot live without. Before we start on our list, I want I want to describe a few things that we are not talking about. I am not talking about cookies and cream ice cream, okay? You can take one look at me and tell this man likes ice cream, especially cookies and cream. I'm not talking about that. Uh, I'm not talking about the outdoors and, and, and being refreshed. Um, with being in the outdoors and I enjoy that so very, very much, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about clear all of, 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 of life's accoutrements and all of the, the multiplicity of things in the flesh and all of the things, strip it all away. And I want you to come down with five things that you cannot live without. Okay, your list may not be my list, Okay, we're going to have some similarities, that's for sure. But this is my list. Okay, number one, I cannot live without repentance. I cannot live without repentance. Um, the Bible says, and you're well aware of some of these scriptures, it says that it's not his will that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. There's a beautiful scripture that says, it is the goodness of God that leadeth thee to repentance. Okay, I cannot live without repentance. Jesus came to call sinners to repentance. And brothers and sisters, I am a sinner. I am not the type of sinner that I used to be, but I need repentance. I thank God for repentance. I thank God for the newness and the freshness and the vitality and the promises of God that are attached to repentance, okay? This is my list. This may not be your list. Number two, I cannot live without forgiveness. And when I talk about repentance and forgiveness, this is this is underscoring the blood 
uh, of Jesus Christ and, and John chapter number one that says, if we confess our sins, he is just and righteous to forgive us our sins. Okay, my number one is repentance. My number two is forgiveness. The forgiveness of God. Um, and that even goes beyond receiving forgiveness from other people, giving forgiveness to other people, living in that, you know, forgiveness has, um, there is a world, there is a, there is a, a lifestyle, there is a world, there is, there is um, an experience, that mode of, of spiritual living where you're living in that zone of receiving forgiveness from God. It may not be every minute, every second, but the Bible talks about that if we are right with our brother, then the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us. It's an ongoing, it's an ongoing thing that's taking place uh, in the spirit, in reality, when I walk and live in forgiveness. And you're okay, I'm okay, we're all okay, we all need God, we all need the blood, we all need forgiveness, we all, all need the power of the Holy Ghost, and that leads me to number three. Okay, my number one is repentance, okay? Um, my number two is forgiveness, okay? How big of a deal is this? I'll tell you how big of a deal it is. The Lord's Prayer is, 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 is built on the fulcrum of forgiveness. I have to forgive others if I want God to forgive me, so that's a big deal. Okay, repentance, forgiveness, the Holy Ghost, brothers and sisters. I cannot live without the love of God that is shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Ghost. It was the love of God, the love of God for me has been the most transformative, mind boggling Reality. I have a little saying, it's just mine. It's not theological, it's not biblical, it's my expression. Um, and so I'm not, this is not a doctrine by any stretch, but it's my expression. When I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, it was the baptism of reality. Because when, you're, when you receive the Holy Ghost, it's not just that life takes on a beautiful hue. It's that you understand there's a God, there's a devil, there's a heaven, there's a hell, there's, there's sin, there's joy, there's peace, there's righteousness, there's gifts of the Spirit, fruits of the Spirit, there's godly relationships, there's things I need to avoid, there's power now to be able to avoid certain things. I can't make it without the Holy Ghost, okay? Repentance, forgiveness, love of God that is shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Ghost. And that beautiful, wonderful, awesome, indescribable okay the bible says it's it's joy unspeakable it's indescribable to have that kind of a relationship with the god of the universe i can't even if i talk about it too much my water my my eyes water up and i start because that is so that is so central to who i am and what i am and what i'm all about and and what what God means to me personally, okay? So, repentance, uh, forgiveness, love of God that shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Ghost, okay? Number four. This is my number four. The Word of God. <laughs> This is my roadmap, it's my blueprint, it's my wonderful counselor, it's my, my light that leadeth my feet, um, it's my hope, it's my strength, it's my nutrition, it's my meat. Whew. Wow, right there. Okay, one, two, three, four. Number five. Number five is my wife and my children. They bring a completion to the picture of my life that nothing else can do. 
Uh, this, this devotion this morning could have been entitled, Let's Number Our Blessings. These are five things I cannot live without. Repentance, forgiveness, Holy Ghost, love of God shed abroad in my heart through the Holy Ghost, Romans chapter number five. And word of God, number four. Number five is my beautiful, gorgeous, godly, anointed, holy, absolute, pure, beautiful wife, my children, my grandchildren. And I just feel like praising God. Why don't we just all lift our hands and praise God. God, I love you. I praise you. I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I think it's healthy in all of the myriad of responsibilities and all of the stuff that we deal with on a daily basis. I got to do this. I got to do that. Oh, yeah, we need to do this. Yada, 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 yada. Start your day and number the things that you can not live without. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.